Hello my learner, I am teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified on grade 4 Science and Technology. Our strand is environment and our substrand is air pollution on clean and polluted air. Previous lesson we discussed and talked more on air pollutants. In our pairs, can you remind us what we talked of or what we said air pollutants are? And I will start with you, John. John, what are air pollutants? Thank you for reminding us. Air pollutants are things which are harmful and pollute the air. These are harmful substances which pollute the air. That is correct. And we gave examples. Victoria, can you assist that with an example? Example, yes, we said smoke is an example of a pollutant. Another example from Tom, dust is another example of pollutant, among others. Thank you very much. And today's lesson, who will distinguish clean and polluted air? How do you distinguish clean and polluted air? And in pairs, let us look at the pictures below. In picture one and picture two, you can see clearly. Now my question is, in your pairs, how is air made dirty in those pictures? How is air polluted in those pictures? And picture one, I will ask Wangari. Wangari, what can you see in picture one? Picture one, has a vehicle, moving vehicle, but emitting gas from its exhaust. That is correct. Clap for Wangari. Vehicle one is moving, but with emission of smoke from its exhaust. That is correct. And for you, Tom, in picture two, what can you see? Correct, correct, Tom. Can you clap for Tom? Tom has said he can see a boy pinching a nose. Pinching his nose, sorry. He can see a boy pinching his nose because he is in the toilet and there is false smell coming from the toilet. So the smell is, affect, is affecting the air around that place. So the air is not clean in picture one and picture two. That is correct. I want you also to discuss the pictures in the, up in, in, that follows the first ones. The pictures that you can see there. We have other two more pictures. Now in those pictures I want you to differentiate which air is dirty and which air is clean. From the pictures above we had seen how air is being made dirty. But now in picture two, in the pictures below there, we have two pictures, picture one and picture two out of the two. Which one is dirty and which one is clean? I will start with John. John, which picture is clean from picture one and picture two? Correct, John. Can you clap for John? John has said picture one is very clean. And what we can see from picture one is a classroom, which is well arranged, very neat with fresh air because the door is open, the window is open, and it is well ventilated. That is correct. Victoria, what can you see in picture B? Is it clean air or dirty or polluted air? Picture B shows what? Correct. Can you clap for her? She can see a, a girl sleeping but there is a jiko which is emitting smoke and we know a jiko emitting smoke in a closed house when the girl is sleeping it's suffocating the girl so we say the air around that girl is polluted correct now i can see you can understand polluted air and clean air polluted air when we say air is polluted, is that pollutants are vivid. We can see clearly pollutants affecting 
the area or environment around us and clean air the air there is very conducive for our breathing for everything that is found in the environment an activity for us to do we have said clean air for you to access clean air or clean environment You've said for you to ensure the environment was clean and the environment has clean air with clean air. Clean environment with clean air. We've said it has the following from the pictures well ventilated, well ventilated. Doors are opened. And there is free circulation of air. Free circulation. Of air. This is a clean environment with clean air. It has well, it is well ventilated. The doors are opened and it has free circulation of air. Unlike polluted air, of which we've seen so many ways air is polluted, environments where air is polluted. For example, in the toilets, when there is that foul smell, vehicles moving, emitting gases from their exhaust, they pollute the air. Chemicals which are sprayed in our farms, they will pollute the air. Even the sprays, the aerosol sprays that may be are found in our homesteads, they also pollute the hair. An activity for us to do. Activity for us to do. An activity for us to do when you go home, kindly request your parent to assist you with his or her tablet and keenly identify polluted air take those photos clean air also take those photos and bring them to class so that we may mount them in our portfolio clean environments and polluted environment make sure you take photos of clean environment from the gadget that is either the tablet phone or the laptop of your parent and print those photos so that we can mount them in the portfolio when you bring them tomorrow. Have a nice time and that marks the end of our lesson. Bye bye.